Jam Trader, now the pitch close here at 2.30, about 15 minutes ago, so we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels are posted. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy selling stock about ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have crude oil, natural gas, daily charts. Now remember on crude oil, the API report will be out today at uh, 4.30. Okay, let's take a look and see what we did today. This was a really good trading day. Uh, I held long because we had this big green candle. And then what we did is I sold right at the pre-market. And I had two scalps here on the UCO today. Just really, really good trading. Now, we got to see here when those futures open at 6 p.m. tonight. Uh, we want to watch the high which was uh, 84.38, that low at 82.72. And right now you're closing right around 82.93. Okay, so we have this high right here, okay, uh, 82.38. Now I said just bring that price channel across and what do we have here, 84.46. And today's high I say was uh, 84.38, okay. So you came in within uh, uh, eight cents of that high, which is very, very good there. Uh, so that's what you want to look for when you're looking for resistant levels. Now, next level here, we can just go up here. If we can exceed that, then we're just going to come right over here to the left. And this is what you got, your 85.64. And then we have your 86.18. But this is what you're looking for right here is this 87.67. Okay, very, very key. And that would be the breakout. Now, hurricane season is really upon us. And it's very early this year. Usually we don't start getting that till the end of uh July and then uh, August is very and September is very very volatile here but we're already getting hit with a category five so any kind of disruption we start getting those hurricanes there that come into that Gulf and you got to shut down rigs crude oil is going to go higher okay so just remember that you've got a bullish trend going on here all the way until uh, the end of September now even if this sells all of down here so let's look at what we had for a low today 82 uh, uh, 72 so we just want to look at it right here uh, look at the bottom here 82 72 so you had 82 72 see that's your support level right there nicely okay now again if that's lost then we'll come right over here to the top of that candle 8204 and then we'll have here you have 8190 but this is what you'd be looking for at 8170 as long as we're this price is above this 8 SMA here this is very very bullish 21 day look at how that nice is curling up here 50 day wants to curl up here so once we can get this above here this will send prices up uh, much higher we just have uh, a red day we had like we had a red day there red day right there red day here so it's no big deal okay look at this red day here oh panic city oh hell no it's time to roll this bad bad boy up here okay so macd looking good here very very uh bullish uh that was your your buy signal with that green crosses the red uh, RSR sitting at 62, you're just waffling right across on the top on that 70 level. Very good. So again, watch those futures and see what we have. And then we want to trade against uh, today's high, low, and that closing number here. Okay, so again, that 82.72 is very, very critical because it held that candle. And we had a figure it also held the top portion of yesterday's green candle, which is always very, very bullish. So we got to see here, but a lot of times here when it gets outside that price channel, see that? When it gets out of that price channel, it wants to come back in and go towards that eight uh, simple moving average. So we got to see how this all going to shake out here uh, once those futures open here. Now, again, if we can, you know, rally up against here, uh, higher here, we just take those price channels right across here until we hit that 87.67. That's what you're looking for here on the big retest. Now, we break above that 80.67, uh, 87.67, you're going to 95 bucks. That, that, that's really what the target is going to be here. Now, again, we have that hurricane season, any kind of a, you know, disruption kind of a situation. Plus, we got the summer driving, got the whole nine here. Psh, you know, that can go much, much higher. Okay, so don't have no opinion. Trade what's in front of you. Okay, Natty Gas. Well, you can see, obviously, what happened here. Okay, this was short ski all the way down. Okay, so once this eight day crosses that 21 day, that's usually the kits of that. Okay, so when you had this eight day crosses above, you can see how nice that it flows right above. 
Yeah, eight day gets below, you fight the price all the way down until you can be get that reversal and you can get back above that eight simple moving average here. Now you can see where you lost your 50 day at 2.49. We lost this uh, 2.47 here on your uh, 200 SMA here. So what we're gonna be doing is, this is what you wanna look at support. Now remember, I have all the support and resistance levels posted right here at the end of this video. All you gotta do is go there, write them down, or I'll write for you. But I'm gonna show you exactly and the reason how we come up with all that, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna obviously look at today's low, you're looking at 2.41. Then what we do is we just follow these candles right on down here, okay? See, all the way on down, okay? That's what we do all the way down until we find an area where it's gonna actually gonna, gonna flow right down here. So uh, your next level here, we look here, is gonna be right there, okay? So you're looking at 2.38, that's gonna be your next level. Um, then we'll come over here, okay, you got 2.30, then we come all the way here, you got uh, uh, 2.21, and then we can come here all the way down 2.15, and then here's your big target, it's going to be that 2.126 uh, uh, level, say call it 2.13 uh, level, that's going to be your big target here, I can't see any way where this is not going to be going lower kind of a situation, uh, if it does, if it doesn't say this reverse, you're going to need a big time catalyst. But this is what's just got to get back above here. You got to get back above that 2.47 and that, that 50 day at 2.48. If you don't, this is just going to go lower. Okay. Now, KOLD, absolute, just a great trade there. I scalped it twice, uh, got stopped out on the second time, but still made 50 cents on it. So it was a really good trade uh, as far as the KOLD there. Okay. Uh, today on the short side. So they have no fear with this. Um, unless you get some kind of a catalyst that's going to raise this up here, this is just going to keep on going lower until we can find a bottom. But what we're looking for is a bottoming kind of a, uh, a situation. Right now, we just don't have it. We just have a series of lower highs and lower lows, okay? Now, you look at your RSI here. That was that negative divergence going on there. That was your first tell. And this, look at, you're only sitting at 40. You can come all the way down here to 30 plus, okay? Now, look at here. See that green? Yeah, okay, you cross over. That's a sell signal. That's your second uh, red flag. And then when we have this eight day, once you put that eight day over that 21 day, that's the nail in the coffin right there, okay? So you got red flag, red flag, and red flag. This is going down, okay? So I don't know, I say if it happens to pop up, just watch that key 200 day, watch that key 50 day. If you can close back above, okay? Say we close back above it, and you get some kind of a catalyst here, it's gonna, then what we do is just look to the bottom of this candle right here, okay? 2.518. That's what you're looking for. We'll come right over here. You're looking at 2.57, and then we have 2.60, and then we can start here with this. Is you're looking at uh, 2.63, uh, but that's what you're looking for right there. That 2.65. Now, when those futures open here at 6 p.m. tonight, it's not going to be 2.65. This is going to be lower. Okay, so you'll probably line up right with that 2.63, if not lower. Uh, that bearish cross is always the kiss of death. If somehow you get above it, then you have your 21-day uh, SMA right there. But really likely, uh, we might be able to do this and this, but you're not going to be able to get above that eight-day. This is going to be like a brick wall, just like it was all the way here, okay? So what you want to do, any kind of uh, uh, rise up into it, I think is a short until we can get some kind of reversal candle that tells you that mm, the selling is done. Until then, you know, that's basically uh, she's going lower. It's just that simple. Okay. I'll be back tomorrow morning before 8 o'clock, and we will do it all over again. Thanks for watching.